Hello everyone and welcome back to the Duchess of Unicorn channel. So you're back with me and it's been a few days since I recorded and uploaded a new video. And that's because I've been kind of sitting back and waiting for some, I guess, some news that would be reported on the two runaway royals that made sense to me to comment on and that struck me in some type of way so i i have seen one or two things um that i observed and i kind of just want this to be a free-flowing uh video and uh perhaps maybe i'll hear some good things in the comments like you know, some stuff I didn't know. And um, really, I just kind of wanted to just wait a while. And I was even going to wait longer than today. I was going to really do another video next weekend. Because I think with all the hoopla and the whole comment about how Megan's billion watt smile and her slimline dress, which seemed to ride up, it was it seemed to be so, uh, I mean, I know it's tailored, don't get me wrong, I know that all her clothes are tailored, so it's hard for me to say that it still didn't seem like it was exactly right, but nothing is exactly right, right? But I did notice it right it kept riding up and she kept having to pull it down a little bit. But that's what happens when you wear overly tight clothes. And that's anybody, anybody's body that would happen. So I really outside of that, I it's kind of like that's all you're seeing. It's like what great shoe she had, what great dress she had, what you know, uh, you know, how great she looked, you know. And and I understand that for some people it's a point. Um, the whole fashion thing, but we are talking about royals, right? Uh, and I feel like Prince Harry is really the royal, of course, but we're talking about Meghan Markle, an actress from America, divorce actress, biracial, moving and m moving in to the UK culture and then getting the hell out of it. And with a quickness. And yet when she comes back after she insulted the United Kingdom in itself, the UK just says, wow, such a pretty dress. Such, you know, she looks great. Oh, look at billion, billion watt smile. And all I keep thinking is, let me just wait on this a while and let's see what really comes forward. Because here's what we know about Megan. When something is seemingly going well and going her way, immediately thereafter, the shit hits the fan. In one way or another way. And so I thought I'd wait, but then I thought if I waited too much, uh, too long, like another week, I might lose some of you because, again, news is coming out so quickly and it's spinning and everybody on YouTube who's involved with this topic, it's continually just pouring out. So some people are just making videos just to pour them out and just make sure that you stay relevant, they stay relevant with you. Um, and I kind of don't, it's kind of a, a bittersweet thing. I kind of don't want to get into that. And, but yet you almost have to because it, it is like entertainment. You have to be the first one up. And you have to stay relevant. However, I I'm really I really just wanted to create this channel to share my opinion with others, and perhaps somebody else it would resonate with, and we'd have a little kind of community. Not so much to criticize, but to kind of kick these ideas around that what's happening is batshit crazy in terms of what we're seeing unfold in the royal family. We're seeing, you know, a, a guy who got involved with Epstein, who is severely been, you know, he's been convicted and he subsequently has been uh, reported as suicidal and he's in the royal family. And then Megan is making like kicking all kinds of dust up. 
all because I'm kind of confused with it and I'll get to it in a minute and I'll lay out why I'm confused and the, the aspects that I see are kind of contradicting each other. So first, my channel is for entertainment purposes only. And as you know, you can read all that in every single video. It is documented in the descriptions. So uh, I, all my content is found on the public domain, uh, fair use, fair dealings. I'm in the United States, free speech, and I am also a biracial woman. And not that that matters, but it's always nice in case in one of my videos I say something in terms of being biracial or from a stance of being biracial or making an observation of another biracial person, at least you know I'm not racist or I'm not this or that. I'm just making a comment from a like-minded place that I know very well. Okay, so it is the 10th of March. We are just flying through these seasons with these crazy weathers and then we have this crazy coronavirus which has been deeply on my mind because I have family members that are all over the United States and I'm like kind of concerned you know um, especially when I go to my store and my store doesn't have any hand sanitizer doesn't have hardly any TP doesn't have all the things that you need basically to keep yourself safe and well in in terms of this um, crazy flu-like thing that I know is out there because we keep being told it is, but no one I know has contracted it, but they're talking about they have a test, coronavirus test that costs $1,200. If you don't have insurance, that's what you're going to pay. And I'm like, wow, okay, wow. That's a lot of people that won't know about the test or will get billed for the test or can't get a test because they can't afford it. So anyway, to make a long story short, this all those little things on my mind. So I've given you the, the disclaimer and it is fully described in the description box. So let's get into some of my perusing along with you on the World Wide Web, that surf that we like to do without a board. Okay, so the first photo that you see up is from Forbes.com and it's just so that we know the track that I'm thinking about. You know, she came into this thing from somebody who has been, felt that she's been insulted by the people. I guess she thought that she was the queen and that how dare anybody insult her. And so she ran off because, I don't know, she was scared about something. She was frightened about something. She was angry about something. She wasn't really fully accepted into the royal family. I'd like to say the way she would have hoped or thought she should be. That's the problem when you have preconceived notions. You believe somebody should react or treat you a certain way. And if you don't get that way, you get disappointed. Okay. And I mean, it's a common thing. It's understandable. I mean, I expect you to love my channel and like what I'm saying and get what I'm saying and be uh, less critical of me and fair minded. But it, when you don't, I feel hurt. Right. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you did, you, you created something, you put it out there, you share it with people, you have a love for it, you're growing it and somebody tries to chop you down at the knees. You will feel hurt or disappointed or both. So I think that when she came back to the UK, she decided she's going to come back Hollywood style, not royalty style. And I think there is a difference. I understand that the British royals are in the limelight and everything's about taking photos and camera camera view lenses of them and, and you know, looking at them through the lens and writing articles about them, good, bad or indifferent. But she really came back like it was it was a Hollywood, American Hollywood runway type of uh, award show like she was. And it, it wasn't. I mean, it isn't. And perhaps Megan attending lends a little poison to that end is that it's like if she attended, well, then it is something like that. Well, not really, because you don't see Rihanna or or uh, Beyonce or any of these world famous people showing up. What you see is just Megan and Megan was a Beatrice. And what this test to attest to is that you can 
always believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and you can get there. That's what this says to a lot of people. She's still showing up with a clutch and heels and the heels and clutch are fine because that's kind of what what do royals need like credit cards in their pocketbook like what do they really need i don't even know what's in there but the point is is that they really don't need to carry anything there's somebody else that's paid to carry these things for them and i think that over these few years megan has gotten used to just even having leveled up a little bit in where she was prior and she's now it seems like she's dug her heels in her feet in her hands in, you know her claws in and she knows a little bit more on how she is it should be acting I don't know about expecting to act I think I can say that she knows that someone else is expecting her to behave a certain way but more than that I think that what we're seeing is Megan is now more comfortable in the role and why I say that is because I was been searching, like I said earlier on, I wanted to step back and wait a while to do any video because, you know, I didn't want to just upload a video on how she's appearing, which I love the dress. I Who doesn't? It's a very pretty dress. Okay. But outside of that, that's what everybody's stuck on. And in all reality... That's not why we're all here. We're not here for it. What we're here for is to understand the correlation between Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and the throne. And the correlation between Prince Harry and his family and Meghan. And where the hell is Archie? So this kid still doesn't exist. So is there a surrogate? Maybe there is. Chances are, I think it's like most of any, everybody believes, you know, 90% or 95% that there is some child somewhere, but definitely by a surrogate. And I think the other question is a lot of people think, why are we still not allowed to see this child? Why are we not allowed to see him? We can always see Megan, like Megan can always be out there and Prince Harry, but we can never see them as a family or we can never see them together. So that raises eyebrows and we all forget that when we are raising these eyebrows, we're really looking back at how Megan really got in to the royal family and how she was assisted. It is a very calculating and precise thing. And to think that Prince Harry didn't even see it coming. However, I'm sure that being a prince, even in the court, even in lords and ladies, I'm sure people have wanted to get in front of him and had been introduced to him. So he's not he's not um, led in the dark completely that people don't try to get next to him to have a talk with him or to be introduced to him. So it wouldn't be so crazy to think that he was set up. But it's more that the person he was set up with, you did not know her true intention or her true self. And just because they both had an affinity for, I don't know, quasi humanitarianism or, you know, maybe Prince Harry's been doing it his whole life. That's his thing, trying to live up to things that his parents have taught him and things that he also gravitates towards. But Megan was kind of... Kate, you know, making her own way in, in that arena, but she was at much further down level. So she was kind of like doing it on the side as, you know, she had breaks from, from uh, taping the show. That's a lot different. That's more of like a side hustle or a side uh, interest or a hobby than, you know, taking it on completely for your life. And of course she had to work, I'm sure, but you can also think that she could have made other choices. If it really was your driving force, you'd be an activist, let's say. You'd be someone that was deeply involved. You would start an organization. Not She did not. What she did is get into acting and follow that course as her main gig. And the humanitarian stuff was kind of like a fill-in a hobby, something that you do on the side uh, when you have your dawn time. And it's not neither here nor there. It's not bad or good. I just wanted to stipulate that because we see that they may have a, had had a commonality being both 
you know, two people that enjoy helping others. And I even have a problem saying that, like helping others, like, I guess because you showed up and because you're royalty or because you're an actress, that means that you're helping people. I consider truly helping people when you sign a check and you give from your own wallet. I That's how I feel that it gets directly back to you. Giving of your time is fine too, but if you're a billionaire or a multimillionaire, I feel like the best way you can show support is A, giving your time and B, giving of your own money, your own money that you uh, you know, worked hard for, let's say. And so I don't really see a lot of that. I see a lot of these two just saying, hey, we're going to show up. And because we show up, give us a check. We'll show up and support you by being here, like making a speech or saying how great you are or mentioning you on our Instagram. But you got to pay us because we're going to do that. So I don't really feel for that. And so that's another point I want to make and why I wanted to hold off on creating a video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but maybe you can stick with me to the end. Now, I have been searching the internet and trying to find like, <clears throat> really, because what I do is I, instead of, I read a little bit, but I, I read a lot actually, but I read a little bit, but I'm really looking at the persona, what she's putting out in terms of being intuitive, like what I feel intuitively that she is saying with her actions and her behaviors and her choices. And then I follow with like, you know, what they're saying, meaning reading the articles and getting the journalist point of view or the first person's point of view or the second person's point of view because the journalists were there and they were taking the video and pictures. So, you know, I kind of try to blend them both and that's called an opinion. And so that's why we're all here. We all have one. Um, so I wasn't finding anything that I was gravitated towards. Um, so I wasn't going to post anything, but I did find one thing and I went to YouTube because I'm actually doing some research on some of the royal stuff so I can connect some dots and kind of make some uh, opinions from a, a different view, if you will, uh, and kind of share the intricacies with you. But that'll take me time because A, I'm working from a, a couple of devices, not several, a couple of devices, a few devices, and I have to kind of make it so I can get it all in one place and then start to edit it. So for me, that's not so good because I don't have, I'm not a, I'm a new YouTube person and I don't even want to call myself a YouTuber, but I'm a new person to YouTube. So this stuff will come as it comes. Now, I've also had some dis some comments in the section here on the, the channel that was telling me like, hey, you know what you're saying in this video, particularly the one with Samantha Markle as the photo on the on the front um you know, the front of it, of my video saying that, oh, this is, you know, uh, you know, an okay point, but you know, this has been covered by other YouTubers such as X, Y, and Z. And so I didn't know X, Y, and Z until this person told me that. So there's apparently, and of course I know there is other YouTubers that follow and do their own voice and commentary and report to uh, viewers on and, and, and that's apparent, but this person singled out two or three of the other YouTubers and said my commentary or my opinion was or it has already been shared by other YouTubers. So that point of view has already been shared. Now, I want to make a distinction here. I in no way, shape or form am a reporter. I'm not here to report the news to you. I am. And when I make my videos, I already in the back of my mind assume my viewers, my viewers already have seen the actual reporters and read their, their commentary and their articles and have gone on Twitter and Instagram and all these other social media sites and have already got the scoop directly from the people who were there or the, uh, or the media that was there. So I'm not reporting anything to you and neither are the other 
YouTubers, except for those that are saying CBS, ABC, UK News, whatever it is that Daily Mail, such on and so forth, if you get my drift. Unless they're saying that, they are just giving you their commentary, their opinions. They are not reporters. They are not making a living reporting to you what's happening on the news. They are not involved in the media. They do not have a media pass unless they're stating I am part of the media and I have a media pass. I am working with um, UK News, for instance. I don't even know if there is a UK News, but... My point is that I'm not here to be like anyone else. And I am here just because I had a strong opinion on what I was seeing happening in the UK. Being a person who follows or had followed in the past, Princess Diana especially, of course, and has read, you know, about Prince Charles and watched documentaries and and read up on things and you know, looked at books that had, you know, concentration on what was going on within the royal family. And I just always had a guilty pleasure of following the royals. But then Megan came about and that struck me as totally out of the blue. And in the beginning, I had thought uh, she was, you know, going to be something unique and something good. And I just found more and more it became the longer that I followed her with the royal, with the royals right now, currently, the more complex and confusing and chaotic and negative and sad and on both parts. I, I mean, even for Megan, I mean, here's a woman who probably had all her dreams come true in terms of, I guess, hitting the lottery, let's say like, wow, I'm, I'm f- I don't have to worry about like the gigs I do at my job. I don't have to deal with, I have access to so much more. I'm becoming more powerful. But it struck me odd that she called herself a feminist because I kind of found it odd that she would need Prince Harry and all his family's billions or trillions of money. I mean, access to the what they have, gold, jewels, homes, uh, land, um, they own people. I mean, if they are the Commonwealth unity, they, their family lineage has colonized other countries. They've taken over other countries. They owned people. So that's one of the reasons I, I kind of don't feel like I'm connected to other YouTubers. I'm not against other YouTubers, don't get me wrong. But when someone says, oh, you're giving old commentary, I'm not. I'm actually just reiterating a topic because I felt the need to share my thoughts. And I think it's relevant and maybe it might resonate with other viewers out there, other people. And so I try not to go too far back, but if we're smart, sometimes when you go far back, it has a lot to do with today. So in other words, if we look and we refer currently to past actions, we'll see that we can make the distinction that there is either a change or there is no change. And so that's what I think I was doing in that video when I was referring to the Markles and and Samantha and every other thing. And these comments are not always going to be good. So if you're going to, you know, make a comment, please make sure you know where I'm coming from. Ask me, where are you coming from? Um, I didn't understand you where you were coming from. And that's fine too. Um, and again, I will try my best to answer. But when you come out with things like, hey, you know, um, Murky Meg or Skelt or... I think it's danger zone or anybody else that this person mentioned. I, I just think, okay, relax, because honestly, not everybody wants to watch the same person. It's good to have, like, for instance, you have many different places to get takeout. Sometimes there's two different places that are similar foods, but you like different flavors, so you may go to each one. For instance, there's on... Um, In every town, everywhere, there's always, like, say, I hate to say a brand name, but like Dunkin' Donuts, right? So you want, you know, you'll stop on that way when you're on that side of town. But when you're over here, you 
stop at this place or maybe they're two different donut places and it doesn't mean the coffee is you know it's still coffee but you'll buy it so what I'm saying is everybody has their own individual voice and their own individual view and although we may be similar it, you can try if you want to compare us and that's fine but I feel like some of these people I think may come across as their reporters and they're reporting the news. They're actually not reporters and they're just actually doing the same thing I'm doing in their own way. And that's sharing their point of view and, and chatting it up with you in their way. And that's their way. And this is my way and everybody's different, but I do appreciate the comments and I do think that sometimes you can't always know what I'm thinking. And so it's good to kind of, you know, make a comment. Now, I noticed that there's one thing that I keep missing. And I think it can only be found. Um, I, I lost where I found it. So let me go to YouTube. And on YouTube, and I'm going to... If I can find it, if I can find it on YouTube, hopefully this is the right place. Okay, on YouTube, let me go to my library. Let me go to my history. Let's see if I can find it. it might not even be here. Hmm. It's not going to be here. Okay, so let me go to. Um, go to, let's see if we can, I think it's Princess, Princess, I think it's Princess Tiffany. I think it's Princess Tiffany. Yes, I think that's the person. Okay, I right here, this video right here, Princess Tiffany, um, so you can go check out this video proper. Uh, I found this video to be, um, it's so simple and she's doing her thing, but uh, let me see if I can get it up. YouTube wants my opinion and skip the survey. Thank you. I want to go. So this is Princess Tiffany's YouTube sta uh, channel and she's going into, whoops, she's going into something to do with it's her disclaimer, but I want to go to somewhere around here. Okay, so Maxi is officially back in London, okay. and hilariously, she and was um, boom, again, boom, it's Princess boom. Tiffany. Princess Tiffany. Princess Tiffany's uh, YouTube channel, and I just want to make sure we try to listen. So I'll try to shut up for a few minutes. Here. Okay, did you catch that? So this is a video that I was seeing online, but when I was on YouTube and, you know, scouring YouTube for royal stuff, I found Princess Tiffany because I was putting in things like Meghan Markle Rude or I don't know, all kinds of things. And I was trying to get specific keywords and I found this person, Princess Tiffany, um, this video and you can go back and watch her whole entire video uh, it's called Megan Booed back in the UK and more supporting Yankee Wally okay so she did this video and I found this video and it, I watched most of it and I skipped ahead a little bit because I was looking for the rudeness in Megan or anything like Anything that would seem odd, and that's how I found her in the first place. That's how her video came up. Um, but let's let's look at now. I want to go back a little bit, and I just want you to watch it for a minute, if you can. And let's start here. They were closing the doors, and Megan said, "Open that." Let's do it again. This is this is a national. The clip that this um, person on YouTube is using is national. We've seen it everywhere, but 
it's hard to find, I think, something where we can see Megan. I don't know if we can hear her. Um, that's why I'm trying to be quiet. But let me see. Can I? No, no, it won't let me. Okay, so let's just try to listen. Hopefully you can hear this. Nope, open that door, she says, right? Someone's coming. See her lips? Now, I'm going to not stay on this, but if you see her lips, let's watch it one more time, okay? I don't know if you can hear her tone of voice or her mannerisms. Whoops. Seems a little bit, she, she, okay, she's, I'm going to hit it again. And I, that's what I'm looking for. This type of stuff is what I'm, I'd like to bring forward because I like to talk about, you know, what we're seeing with the pretty dress and overly made up and looking like she's on the red carpet. When you're really not on the red carpet, you're there for official duties because you married into a position similar like you would marry into a position of, of, of. Um, military where you have a certain way you behave. I, I liken that to where you have the royals. It's a certain manner in which you carry yourself. Yeah, maybe you're a little bit, you know, silly behind scenes or maybe other times it's a time and a place. But when you're at these particular events, maybe it's more appropriate that it's it's a beautiful dress, but it's not about what should be the point. But watch how she speaks and her tone and her facial features as she tells this gentleman, no, 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 open that door, someone's coming, let's say. Let's see. <laughs> Don't shut that or whatever. You know. Look at her face, her lips. And it just... Now, I don't do drugs, but I, I, I t had a career where I would help people um, let's say in that background, um, uh, many different, but diverse backgrounds and backgrounds that had to do with drugs, drinking, alcoholism, um, prison, um, formally reformed. Uh, so this looks very familiar that the quick, you know, look with her teeth, like I can't explain it to you. There's a look there. And so I'm not so sure that somebody is not on something. That's my personal opinion. One more time. And that's it. But go to this person's YouTube channel, watch the whole video. She does a whole commentary on this UK visit to the mansion house. It's lovely. I don't want to do a whole video on it. I really don't um, because it, it is overdone. And so are these photos. But this was such a good Thing where we could see for a second the Megan I believe that she is today being in the royal family the stress and the the glam of it all how it makes you it takes over you they do say money is the root of all evil I'm not sure if I believe that but I think it can bring certain things out of people and power I think is really where the evil is having absolute power over people is where there there is the true evil let's watch one more time and it's just a few seconds she's opened the door she said get that door open practically even i'm not sure what she said but the face right there how she's making her face really is interesting and then one more thing is when she sits down to write her signature if you can see, she's having trouble writing her signature. It's like, oh, that's different. And then Prince Harry just gets up in there. Boom, he's done. All right. So that's what I wanted to um, bring to you for today. And I, I want to say that I find it really odd um, that no one has reported Sorry, no one's reported on her behavior, like her attitude at that particular place. Like what we see here is a lot of 
They're going to rent out a massive Malibu mansion. We don't want you here. I don't live in that part of the country, but we don't want you or need you here for your million dollar, what is it? $20 million Malibu mansion. We don't really want you here, Megan. I think she wants to be in Malibu because I think she thinks of Hollywood. She thinks of that's where all the most wealthy people have their beachy sun. And she's a, she says she likes, she's, there's plenty of videos that say, I am a flip-flop girl. I'm, I like to be as relaxed as possible. And she said that in her early days, either just before suits or just after suits, like when she started. So clearly that's where she feels, you know, homey. She feels happiest. But um, Malibu, I don't know. Do they really want you? Well, I don't know. Maybe pretentious people gravitate towards pretentious people. But I just feel like this is something, there's something very hot happening here. Meaning even her smile looks odd to me. Her smile looks like animated, like, eh, like, mm, like it's just not a real smile. I can't quite put my finger on it besides not being a real smile, but it looks, it looks like it's been rehearsed, like it's been rehearsed. And I'm not sure the the two of them display any love. Just because they are supposedly looking at each other like that, that could have been rehearsed. Like at some point, like if we look at each other maybe under the, under the umbrella or when we're over there, make sure we look at each other lovingly and whatever. And it's fine. It's not against the law to do that. It's just... Something is seriously awry here, and I feel like we're going to see it play out. We're really going to see it happening in front of our eyes. I feel like, in my heart of hearts, I feel like Megan's going to fall on her face if she tries to go back to acting, because it's been said that Disney doesn't feel that she is really, you know, not exactly did they say that, but they alluded to the fact that she's not really the bankable one person um, protagonist of a movie. And even if she was the secondary main star, I, I don't really feel it. I don't think you'll see flocks of people going to see her. If anybody really goes out of their way to see her, it would mainly be the people that find no fault with her they think that she's all like beyond awesome I don't feel it'll be like if she wants to get into a Marvel movie or something like that I just don't like she wants to be an x-man or something I just don't feel that anybody's going to give a crap and her acting I don't think it speaks volumes in terms of positive reviews I think it speaks her acting speaks like she's phony and phony is different from being an actor. Like it's a methodology. It's a, it's a way, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's something that's just not by the cuff per se, but that it's a talent. All right. I am going to, I'm going to end there and say, I hope you understood why I uh, wanted to hold off with the video and why I decided to just drop a video today because I wanted to explain this, I want to share with you, but I also wanted to share with you that one little tiny thing I came across. And again, I'll put the link into the, the video below and the channel that it's on is, I think it's Princess Tiffany. Yeah. So you can see the whole entire video. She she's basically talking about Megan showing up at this place and a bunch of other things. But I fast forwarded because I was looking for something that Megan would do that would be, you know, considered rude. And because there's always something that she seems to be doing. But again, they're not showing it in the, the mainstream media, I've watched a lot of the same videos that we just saw the clip of, the same exact video. It's posted everywhere all over the internet. However, I noticed that Daily Mail and all other outlets have cut 
they have cut and edited it so that it skips right over that part where Megan says, hey, you know, she seems to say, turn back and say, hey, someone's coming, don't shut the door or keep those doors open. And she doesn't even, she doesn't, it's definitely not graceful and purposeful and kind as you would do if you were, say, a royal person or just a person with common courtesy and knows how to speak to people with clarity and intelligence and kindness in any manner. Because that poor guy was like, oh, the door should be shut because they're inside. And she's like, no, no, no. And he swings them open. And it's just, you can see for a split second, he looks at her like, oops, you know, and you know, so it might not bother everybody, but it struck me as kind of disrespectful to just another human being doing his job. And I didn't care for it. And so that's why I shared it with you. Okay, everybody. Well, I think that's it for today. I will be back with another video and my views and opinions that I want to share with you because I like you. So if you uh, found this interesting or what have you hopefully it resonates with you why i i i chose to show a clip and why i chose to just upload this anyway even though i didn't have a whole great fantastic piece of video i just wanted to wait because i feel like the calm after she's you know been seen the storm is coming and so i feel like this is just like everybody was just talking about her dress and her hair. And I felt like I see something more. I see a weird smile. I see, I didn't feel that she was calm. I felt that she was like, I am going to be so out of here in like 10.2 hours and back to my life doing what I have to do because I've got a lot of plans about to unravel and I'm away from these bitches that's what I kind of felt, but I couldn't find any, any, any other clips anywhere that weren't edited. And that wonderful channel, Princess Tiffany, she was able to post a prime point to show that those two minutes after her, her commentary, that, that five or two minute video at the end that's posted everywhere, but it was unedited. She was brilliant to do so. And that was exactly what I was looking for in order to make sense of how I feel about her UK return. Great dress. I didn't know that royals wear zippers down the back of their dress, but okay. That's kind of stripper like, but okay. Beautiful color, beautiful dress. She looked great. I just feel something is underneath the current that is so chaotic and ugly and I feel like something's just not right that I just wanted to wait and see if anyone else came out with this like you know daily mail or anybody just posted and said comments about what I just saw I I saw the I saw the tinge of rudeness and uh contempt in her voice all right everybody take care I'll see you in the next video and please do comment. Let me know what you think. Did you see it? Do you get what I'm saying? Do you see why, you know, I was like blown away by the contempt and, and then she had like a kind of, and if you watch that video anywhere and you watch the one that Princess Tiffany put, put into her video, you can see that she's doing something with her mouth and teeth and she's like covering her teeth, like, <sighs> I don't know. It just reminds me of someone that, you know, has a drug issue. All right. But I'm not saying Megan has a drug issue. I don't know because I'm just gossiping. I don't know her and I don't, you know, assume to know her life. I just know that I've seen similar uh, behavior in other people that I have worked with and that I have known. All right. Well, have a good night and I'll see you in the next one.